Good morning, a good morning, a good morning. Well, it is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Hey, right, so today we've got a pretty exciting day going on. We are going to go to Winston-Salem with my mother, me, the invisible wife, and my mother for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. I'm gonna run. They're gonna walk. Mama has finally shown up and we're running behind as usual with me. That's no big deal though. Uh, I'm usually running behind uh, just a little bit. I gotta put my bag in the back. I need a longer arm. Alrighty, so let's get seated here. Mama, you can see her right down there. And uh, we, we just got back from, what did we get back? I can't get a good angle on this here, Mama. All right, so I just got back. Still look at <laughs> I just got back with Mama, and uh, there we are. Uh, She's she short. Got back from the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure 5K. Yes. And uh, hopefully one day we'll find a cure for all cancers. Yes. But anyway, we had a good time, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right. It was cold. It was very cold. <laughs> all right. And Rusty, he's wanting a little attention. He's afraid we're not going to give him any attention. Rusty's wanting a little attention. So, all right. Well, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Here I am in my little garden. You can, you can see that I've got... Uh, well, right here you can see that I've got a little bit of a bug issue, but we're working on that. We're working on that. And right here we're working on some radishes. I'm going to thin them out and organize them a little bit. Does it look like my carrots are doing too well? But hey, that's what uh, being a gardener is all about. At least it is for me, trying new things, see what we can do. So let's see what we can do with these radishes and uh, see what we can do to make them look halfway decent. Then we'll work on the onions a little bit. I know. We need to garden a little bit. Not any kind of big deal. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on getting some of these uh, weeds out of the azaleas. They're pretty gnarly. Come on, Russ. Got to get Rusty on board. He's the main weed man. Gotta put Rusty's uh, steak into the ground. Uh, hey, he's chewing up the yarn. I don't think I've ever seen a dog who just literally chew up, literally chew up the yarn. This is one of his pets. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go under the azalea and pull this out. Now if you've never been under an azalea, I can assure you it is quite a difficult experience to locate any uh, stray vines or anything that's in the azalea. They're usually pretty uh, pretty thick. Pretty rusty. I have no idea what he's doing. But they're usually pretty thick um, and it's difficult to locate what's up top from 
what's down here because it kind of all looks the same. I'll show you what I mean here. The inside here, everything kind of all looks the same. So we'll be lucky to really find it and pull it all out of one piece. But, but we'll try it. Oh, here's one. That was, that was easy right there. As you, can, as you can see, there's a little bit of what we're trying to get out. And it's right. And right, right there is the base of it. Now, if I just pull on it, I'll probably break it. So what I do is I dig around it a little bit. Try to get as close to the root as I can. I'm on that. Well, I broke it. Well, I broke it, so. What are you doing? Hey, Russ, what are you doing? He's gone crazy. All right. So here we can see we got a lot more. Let's figure out where it is in there. What? Right here. I'll spin you around so you can see it too. I think we have what we want right there. Feels like it, looks like it. So, let's see what we can do here. Oh. If I've done everything right, it should just basically come right out. Oh, ta-da, ta-da. Let's see where these are coming from here. You can see way, way down in there. Well, I broke that piece. That's okay. Let's go over here. Got a couple things I gotta get out of this group of azaleas. Rusty. Rusty, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. He'll, he'll chew up those azaleas all day long. So we got a couple of trees in here. Right there. Right there. I gotta find the middle of them and get them out. All right, well, we're gonna look in here and see what we can see. Maybe we'll see something. Okay, nothing, nothing. Oh, I think I see it right there. There's no real way for me to get you in there, so you'll just have to trust me. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think I might have found a way to get you in here. Right there it is. There's the culprit. We're going to get that bad boy out of here. All right, so there's a little bit better view of it, maybe. So what we can do here. Ta-da! I don't know what kind of tree it is. I'll have to go and look it up. My brother will probably know. He's usually pretty good at that stuff. Looks like leaves kind of look like a hickory tree, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. This is Rusty, and this is how we play fetch. It's easier to have two of these than just one.
that's how we play fetch with Rusty. Rusty loves to eat grass and lay down in grass. He's highly allergic to grass. Hey Rusty, we do want to see you, but there you go. Roll around a little bit. <laughs> 